Alright, so I had this awesome game and I decided to record it, but I didn't record it while I was playing it, so going through the replay to show you this game. And we're off. Speed through the boring part. And uh, it was Conquest. I didn't know that starting, and I also didn't know it was going to be severely limited points. So I started with four units, which I was kind of scared about. But I had two groups of extremely OP SAS. Sneaky SAS going over there. I will show you what I see. I'm just supplying my front. So far it's a normal game of conquest. Very reserved beginning. Canadian recon helicopters spotting a little bit on my side. Looks like they're being a little bit more aggressive towards my teammate Marcus. I have this A4K Kahoo. It's got an extremely uh, far anti ground range. I'm just testing it out, it cost 100. I missed that shot, unfortunately, but one missile means quick resupply time and I'll eventually send it out again and take that thing down I believe. Still neck and neck. Low income games. It's hard to resupply so every point counts. I feel like I'm talking too much, but I don't want to sit here and waste everyone's time. My SAS are making their way up this side here. Hopefully I'll... Well, actually, I already know what they're going to do. They're going to totally wreck. But that remains to be seen for you guys. So far, my front over here is quiet. They're kind of ganging up on him over here, but he seems to be doing all right. All right, SAS begin kicking ass. There goes a recon chopper. their extreme stinger range. They take out another one. While they're kicking ass up here, I notice oh, they're doing a little push with MIATs. Too bad they're not armed with anything decent whatsoever. I draw them into my other group of OP SAS. And guess what? I wasn't even watching that. I knew they'd do it. What's going on up here? I think my SAS just killed another helicopter. I just take a round that misses luckily. Don't know what it is yet. I make a break towards the buildings. Safe and sound. Rocket goes away. There's a third one. Okay. So that was the third one. I did not kill it earlier. Oh, Mako over there. That helicopter just took a hit. It's like an MI-24 variant. 
I don't know that yet, though, for sure. Split. He's firing in position randomly, scared out of his mind. BMP's drawing closer. 83 millimeter heat's gonna tear that thing. Oh, and Montoya surrenders or rage quits because he's getting wrecked. Unfortunately. If only more people had tenacity in this game. It's quiet over here still. SAS carrying this game. MI-24 remaining vigilant, but somewhat broken. BMPT moving out. MI-24 moving up. I think he thinks my SAS have vanished like ghosts. They're not that OP, unfortunately. I decided to help my teammate out against his AFK resistance. Snipe something. I think the BMP2 is what I'm going after. SAS are well hidden. Quiet front over here. Don't even have to worry about it. BMP2 is down. No AA. At least close. MI-24 is gone. I feel safe enough to take on this BMPT, even though it is a troop killer with frag rounds. Two rockets, done. You know they have some nads when they're just running around in the open ground. Having even fired a single round out of their primary weapons, The firing of the Malka reminds me what I need to kill. I was going to make a beeline for the trees, maybe get a command vehicle, decide to go for the Malkas. And some reason why, because they're running low on rockets, or stingers at least. Obviously, you guys know what's going to happen. I actually, <laughs> I guess you didn't notice that. Or didn't think that was going to happen. Accidental click. But I'd take get the Malka and a cargo truck. I see these sons of bitches coming from my SAS on the open ground. They stop for some reason. Luckily for me, uh, they probably, yeah, they would have tore into me pretty good. 23 millimeter gun. I'm not sure if he can even see them right from that far away. Let's see. Nope, they can't. So, I guess he didn't exactly know where they were, but I'm moving my SAS away. I think I'm going to use the cargo as bait. Decide not to. He starts firing on his file instead of recapturing it. I bring the cargo back because I still need a couple more stingers. I also have in the back of my mind that I'm going to capture this fob to get that, so it wasn't that big of a deal if I sent that to distract them anyway. The damaged MI-24 doing nothing. Could be using that to kill my SAS. Well, probably not, since I have stingers now. And I decide to move it through. Oh, what's that? Why would that be hidden in a tree? Oh, it's their command vehicle. Now they're really boned. So we're gaining points really quickly. I decide to see what else I can stretch out of these SAS here in a little bit. Start moving them towards the enemy. Under the cover of building, I feel they should be able to take on any threat at all. MI-24s has recently found its pair of NADs and is going after some units. Very un 
uneventful game other than my micro the SAS. Nothing over here other than that MI8 attack. They could have pushed a bit more aggressive over here. As it turns out, I don't think they had much. And here goes killing the transports and their VDV inside. He didn't unload them, didn't put them in buildings. A uh, huge mistake. His third one's coming over. I don't know what he's thinking. He just lost two and all the dudes inside. They should be moving a command vehicle back, getting that back. They need it. But who cares, right? They've already lost. They know it. Looks like I'm getting shot in my Kehu. I think this is just about the end of the game. Uh, looking at it. At a neutral standpoint, if I would have pushed, they have only 10 VDV and MIAT guarding this. I could have had that. Could have even push this. Command vehicle out in the open. Uh, these guys, uh, maybe it's their first game, I don't know. But, um, yeah. They were, I mean, it was a low point game. I. Really didn't have that much. I had one group of SAS and a couple Lynxes, but that was enough, I think. Uh, pretty solid front. But anyway, I just wanted to showcase the OP SAS. They did some work, some major murderizing. I almost lost a Kahoo. I may have lost it by the end of the game, but I didn't. 785 kills, zero losses, 120 command points. My teammate, he was more aggressive or was on the receiving end of aggression, lost a little bit more than me. And they completely got steamrolled, although Montoya did quit. And speaking of which, at the end of this video, there will be a segment where everyone who has rage quitted uh, in previous games in Red Dragon. I don't want to add War Game Air Land Battle as well because that would be a lot of people. Uh, so we're going to start on Red Dragon and there will be a list and from for future videos that list will be added to. Hopefully not, but most likely so. Uh, there will be an addition to the list, and that way you guys know not to play with these people because they are likely to quit when things don't go their ways. And I don't like playing with things like that. Uh, I don't get to see the list because I wasn't on my name the whole time, I guess. But it was a long list. SAS wrecked. I think my jet had like three kills, and my other group of SAS did very well as well, but all 785 kill points were from three units, the SAS in their backfield, my SAS defending, and the 100A4K, I believe it's called. Anyway, uh, that's it.